Time now for a full look at our weekend forecast. Meteorologist Sharon Ray is standing by with more and hopefully you, you got a good one for us. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good forecast, just a little on the hot side, which is typical this time of year. Uh, you know, it's been a busy week. We had Marco and Laura that we were following and now Laura's winding down just a tropical depression, still bringing some rain to the Midwest and tracking off to the east. Now we're keeping a close eye on the rest of the tropics. In fact, we know it's that busy time of year. The peak is September 10th normally, and there are two disturbed areas out in the Atlantic we're keeping an eye on. Low chance of development in the next five days, but that could change. So we'll be watching this through the weekend as these are forecast to track toward the west. So for right now, though, all is quiet. As far as that rain, though, with Laura, it does continue to track to the north, the boot heel of Missouri down through eastern Arkansas, getting some um, moderate rain right now, as well as a few showers and storms up in northeast Texas. But for us, as usual, it's all out over the Gulf. We only have a couple light showers out there and nothing really here. There may be a quick stray shower, but nothing meaningful today. And it looks like a dry, hot day ahead of us. Temperatures are warm to start our day. Look at this into the 80s right now. We have a breeze blowing and that is going to pick up today. We're going to be happy to have that wind today because those temperatures are going to be quite high today, up to near 20 miles an hour this afternoon on the wind. And you can see the uh, temperatures are going to reach up to 90. 96 in Corpus Christi by 2, 97 at 4. And look at that heat index hovering close to 110 for several hours this afternoon. So if you can avoid doing a lot of strenuous activity this afternoon outdoors, that'd be a good idea. Keeping that air conditioned uh, room as we're seeing those breezes, though, that will pick up off the outside. High temperatures today, then look at them. Boy, it's going to be a steamy day out there. 99 at Robstown today, 97 Corpus Christi. And inland, we're talking 100 to 104. In in fact, 101 at Beeville this afternoon in Kingsville, 100 Port Aransas, 90, and then you factor in the humidity and it feels a lot hotter. The feels like forecast today, as you can see by lunchtime, already over 105, and that's when that heat advisory kicks in from lunchtime until 6 o'clock this evening, and you can see why. It's going to be sweltering, dangerous heat indices. Your body's going to have a tough time staying cool today, so stay hydrated and get inside as much as possible into some cooler air. All right, it is going to be dry today. This should so show mostly sunny skies today uh, for your uh, beach forecast. So it looks like a pretty good beach day. The conditions are improving. The swells are coming down and we're looking at three to five foot seas, occasionally up to six, but the wind's gonna pick up. So it's gonna be choppy out there on the water and we still have a moderate rip current risk, but we do have a lot of dry air. You can see this yellow and orange area. That's some pretty dry air feeding in and that's going to be with us through the weekend uh, until Sunday. Sunday, we still have a chance we could pick up a little bit of rain, but it's not going to be much, very isolated. But today's dry, and all the rain stays to our north today. Tomorrow's dry, and then as we head into Sunday, a weak area of lower pressure is going to produce the potential of a few coastal showers, and that's about it. So the weekend forecast is a hot one, and uh, temperatures are going to feel a lot hotter. That heat index up to 114 each day, and then only an isolated rain chance Sunday and Monday.